My name is Highway Honey and I'm an over the road truck driver. Today we're going to talk about the CAT scale. What is the CAT scale? Um, first of all, if you haven't watched my video on sliding tandems, I'll go ahead and link, link that in the description below and you can go ahead and watch that first. Um, because that video goes hand in hand with this video. It's just a continuation and I didn't want to do it all in one video because it is a lot um, to do. Uh, it's a lot to comprehend in one video. So I just figure it's easier to break it up. So go ahead and watch that first then come back and watch this one. What is a CAT scale? A CAT scale is, um, First of all, the CAT, CAT, the acronym is Certified Automated Truck Scale. So that's what CAT scale, CAT stands for in the CAT scale. A CAT scale is exactly what it is. It's a scale, it's a scale that will weigh your tractor, your trailer, and your load to make sure that you're legal to drive on the highways. What's the purpose of a CAT scale? The CAT scale is, is to make sure that we're legal to drive on the highways. Um, there's certain bridges and certain roadways that cannot withstand a whole lot of weight. Um, you know, they're soft, they're weak. So we we as truck drivers have to do our part by weighing our trucks to make sure that we're legal and um you know it's just a regulation that each state has um because it you know honestly it costs a lot of money to repair roadways and repair brid bridges so we have to do our part as truck drivers to make sure that we're good to go. So when we go on the scale, there's three things we're looking at. We're gonna be looking at our steer axles. When we go on the scale, that needs to be at 12,000 or less. We have our drive axles which are 34,000 or less. And then we have our tandems back there, which are also 34,000 or less. Now let's just go back a little bit. Um, when we slide our tandems forward, we're either adding weight on to our drives or steers or we're taking the weight off of the steers and drives and adding it back onto the trailer. So when we slide the tandems back there, we're either adding it on or we're taking it away. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go on to the cat scale. Oh, hold on a minute while I get situated. Uh, we're gonna go on to the cat scale. In five miles, turn left on Ravenna Warren Road. So where can you find cat scales? You can find them at any truck stop. Loves, Pilot, Flying J, um, TA, any truck stop, a main one like that, will have them. Um, some smaller truck stops will have them also. Um, but that's where you can find them.
that when we go on the scale, there's only one way on and one way out. So it'll always say enter. That's how you know you go your nose in, all right? When we roll up onto the scale, you wanna make sure that your window is um, right next to that right next to this box here on the left. You'll see it here in a minute. Even with that box. So when we come up onto right in front of this box here, you'll see a number right here. Or 32.94. Every cat scale is going to have a location number. That's, you know, what city, state you're in. Now, if you have the app, the app is the smartest way to go. It's the fastest for truck drivers. It's gonna save you a lot of time. But if you're old school and you don't like apps, using apps or any technology like that, then you can still do it the old fashioned way and just, you would just press that button that little button right next to that number thing. And then you just tell them that you want to get weighed and then you'll get a hard copy of your scale ticket and they'll, they'll give it to you. But for those of you who want to use an app, that number is going to go into your app. Now, my app is right here on my tablet. And you're just gonna press that. We're gonna put, you know, it'll already come up with the location that you're closest to. I'm in Diamond, Ohio right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that Catskill location number, which was 3294 in there. And then you press accept. It'll do its little thing here. You know, your company will come up. Your tractor, trailer, okay? Make sure everything's good. You want to press accept. Now, the fee to weigh... Let me close my window. I'm in. The fee is $12.50 anytime you scale. All right? If you have to do a reway, like if you're over or un, you know, over on your weight and you have to slide adjust your tandems, the reway is $3. So, I'm going to press accept for the 12.50. Now, everything is stored on this app. Everything that you do on this app is stored. And you also, and I would recommend that, you know, if you're a beginner in truck driving, I would, um, I would recommend that you also, if you're gonna do the app, I would recommend that you go in and get the hard copy for the, the first like one or two times just so you can you know get an idea and you'll have a hard copy and you'll get to look so at it. So this is our weight. We're, our weights are good to go. Our steer, steers 11,580. That should be 12,000 or less. The drive and trailer axles both should be 34,000 or less. The drives are 32,780. The trailer 31,940. We're good to go, and our gross is right there at the bottom 76,300. So we're good to go with the scale. Everything's golden. We don't have to slide tandems, we don't have to do any adjustments. You can just roll with this weight, okay? So I did go in and get the cat scale ticket. I just wanted to show you what a hard copy looked like. Um, they're always in there. They'll print them out if you want them. They're, they're always printed out. So, um, so 
So I just wanted to show you what um, an actual cat scale ticket looked like. Not on the app. So there you go. So that's it. That is the basic way to just use the cat scale. And um, what I wanted to say about cat the company itself is that they will back you 100%. If you, let's say you have to, you go to a way station and you're overweight, they find you to be overweight. If you went to a cat scale and got your ticket and everything got weighed and you found yourself to be legal, cat scale will, will, first of all, they'll go to that cat scale that you went to, make sure it's calibrated correctly. They have to calibrate these scales at least three times a year um, to make sure they're working correctly because it depends on how often they use, they're used where they'll be calibrated. Um, but, and they will also pay any fines that you have and they will go to court and help you fight um, your, your ticket and everything, your fine that you got. They, they will back you 100%. So I advise you to always go to the to a cat scale and get weighed regardless. Um, another quick tip I wanted to point out here is to help when sliding tandem. See this air gauge? You wanna make sure that this is kind of at around, around 60. It should be around 60 or below, um, or around there, no more than like 62. But as you slide your tandems back and forth, you'll get familiar with this air gauge and how it will fluctuate when you move them. So that's just another tool in your toolbox to help you when you're sliding tandems and um, going to get weighed and everything at a cat scale. But that's it. That's how that's how you use the cat scale, and um, I hope it helped you. And um, it's really easy once you get the hang of it. It takes time to to learn something new. So, but once you start getting the hang of, you know, using the cat scale, it's a piece of cake, and it'll it'll be your best friend out here. I love it. I love I love the at cat. Catskill company and I love the app it saves you a lot of time and I don't know anybody who doesn't want to save time out here <laughs> so um, that's it I hope you have a great day stay safe and stay legal bye see you on the next one